Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at logical vectors in R. And as you can see, I'm already in R Studio. These are different, this is a different code that we ran last time, which is most important for us uh, here, up here at the top is su.cells and Ginny.cells, and maybe total cells as well. And now, of course, many of you may be wondering what exactly is a logical vector? Well, if you remember from prior videos, we looked at numerical vectors. These are vectors, or you know, I guess you call them like a storage space that holds numbers. Well, a logical vector comes from this idea of Boolean logic, which basically means that the vector or the object or the container, if you will, holds a value of true or false, depending on what it's, it is examining. And so the best way to understand this is to look at a few examples here. So. If you look right here under my uh, little script here, I have different examples of Boolean logic that is used in R code. So for number one, you can see X with two equal signs. This means that X equals Y. All right. Now, when you do this in the computer or when you do it in R Studio, you are comparing two values, an X and a Y. So an R will tell you if it's true or not if they're equal. So if I do su.sales equals Jenny dot sales it'll tell me if this is true or false and so you can see here that several times the computer says false and one time it says true and perhaps you're wondering where does this come from well if you look at the script you can see here so when it's comparing them it's saying okay four and nine equal each other well obviously that's false that's why the first one's false and then R compares the, the next two values, 2 and 10. Obviously, that's not equal. But then look at the third value, 6 and 6. That is equal. That's why if you look at the third example, it's labeled true here. And so what is happening is that when you use these Boolean logic for, for vectors, it compares each value inside the vector to the other number that's in the same place inside the other vector. Let's go back if you don't mind. Now, for number 2, X does not equal, oh, excuse me, that's a typo there. X does not equal Y, and that means that X does not equal Y. I need to fix that. Sorry about that. And so if I run my code here again, um, I just go back here and change this. Notice the exclamation mark. That means does not. It means not in Boolean logic or in R code, if you will. And then I press Enter. And again, you can see I get different values. And so if I go back here and compare, obviously, 4 and 9 do not equal each other, so that's why it's true. 2 and 10 do not equal each other, that's why it's true. However, 6 and 6 do equal each other, that's why it is false, and then etc. after that. Now, for number 3, we have here x is greater than y. Of course, most of us are familiar with this one from taking math in you know elementary school and high school. So again, it's going to compare, compare all my values inside each particular vector or each object, if you will. I press enter, and then here are my values. I don't think I need to go back and explain this each time. So now I have a false, 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 true, true, false, which means that most of the time, sues.cells um, are not greater than Ginny.cells. That's what that's telling me. Now, next we have number four here. This is x is greater than or equal to y, excuse me, that's another typo there. X is greater than or equal to y. So that means that now, beforehand, let's say if two values were five, it would, it would be a false. But with now, if, if, they're, um, if the values are equal, it still gives you a true, when beforehand it wouldn't do that. So let's just see how we're doing here. And you can see now we have a false, false, true, 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 false. Let's just check this one for fun. And so let's see here. Sue dot sales greater than. So is 4 greater than 9? No. 2 greater than 10? No. That's another false. 6, is that equal to or greater than? Ah, that's why we have a true there. And then 7, of course, is greater than 4, et cetera, et cetera. You can see how this works. Next, we have number 5. I don't think this is too complicated. Instead of greater than, we have less than, so we have to switch the direction of the mouth. Su.cells is less than Ginny.cells. Let's see here. You can see the, the answer right there. And then, of course, for number six, we put the equal sign there. 
Now it's less than or equal to Jenny dot sales. That's what number six is right here. I'm at number six. If you don't, if you if you can follow along, I press enter. So true, 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 false, false, true. Um, and that's the majority. The other ones are not really used in the way that we done one through six, seven, eight, nine, and ten are used primarily for other purposes than just printing the true, true, the true and the false. Like for example, when you want to subset your data or where you want to include everything but something. So we're not going to look at seven, um, eight, nine, and ten through example. We're just going to talk about them. So the the at the and sign, I believe this is the ampersand. That's the full name. It, it returns x and y, so all the values. This right here, the little bar here, um, this number, or excuse me, this uh, particular um, you know value here is like right above your enter key on your keyboard and you have to hold down the shift key in order to get it. And it means return X or Y, that's what it means. And then of course, the uh, exclamation mark means, uh, you know, don't or not, and it means here return everything that is not X. So again, this doesn't make sense now, but it's very valuable for, for when you subset data. That's when this becomes very valuable. All right, so in this particular video, we looked at logical vectors and the symbols that are used in Boolean logic as they are found in R Studio in the R programming language. We looked at equal, not equal, greater than, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal, we looked at the ampersand, uh, we also looked at not, and also the XOR. So we hope that this information presented here is useful for you as you continue to play with R Studio, and we thank you for watching. Take care.